Hi traders, trading on the browser has never been easier with Alpha Web. Let me show you how it works. First, we go to alpha.sasonline.in. Simply put in your client ID, then enter your secret answers and hit submit. You'll instantly be logged in into the Alpha's web platform. So on the top left, we can see what Nifty is doing and even how it is moving. On the right, you can also see Sensex of whether it's gained. So today it's up about 0.53%. Now over here, it is tabbed. I can go from order home to orders to portfolio and alerts. Let's stick to the home page. Uh, the second line is where I have my watch list. So I can rename this to June watch list one and that will be saved. I can also add a lot of tabs here. So maybe I might want a certain number of stocks here. On the second tab, I might have another stock. So let me show you how to add a stock. Let's search for ACC. Now notice the search is live. So not only do you get ACC from NSC and ACC from BSE in the cash market, it also searches for ACC's futures and corresponding options. All you need to do is type and this is updated live. So let me add ACC in the equity market from NSC and one click and it's right here. You get all the options. Let's add something in the future. So now all I need to do for Nifty is type Nifty and I will get everything to do with Nifty over here. I can type June and I will get the June futures in front of me, J-U-N. And I can see Nifty June futures in the NFO market. I've already added it right here. And I can do anything, I could buy, sell, or even open a chart. That's how you use the market watch to add or subscribe to any of the instruments you want to keep an eye on. Now, once you've added something on the watch list, you can actually buy or sell it. And let me show you how this works. On ACC, you can simply go to buy or sell, that's right here. And when I click that, I will get a pop-up, which then I can select whether it's a cash and carry, this is a delivery, or I could select an NRML trade, or an MIS, which is intraday square off. Now within this, let's suppose I select intraday, I could select a limit or a market or a stop loss order, or a stop loss market order. One really cool thing about this software is that you can switch between a buy to a sell with one tap. That's it. That tells me that this is now a sell order. I can go back to a buy order now. Isn't that beautiful? To enter a limit order, as you know, you simply enter the quantity and the price and you can hit buy. For a market order, you don't need to specify the price because it get the best ask available right here at 1340. Whatever ask is available near that price is what you'll get. Fill that. For a stop loss order, you might want to use this if you want to buy a stock which is higher than the current prevailing price. So if you want to buy at see, say 1350, then I could put 100 shares here and I could put 1350 in the trigger price and 1355 um, in this price. Now when the price reaches 1350, this order will get triggered. The same is true for a stop loss market order. I just fill in the trigger price we don't need to fill in the price where as soon as 1350 is met, uh, whatever price is available, we will get filled at. You could also choose between a regular CO or an AMO order. Now we've covered these order types in other videos. So check them out on what a regular order is, what a CO order is and what an AMO order is. Finally, once you've done all your analysis and you've taken your position, you need to monitor it, right? So let me show you what the order book and the M2M position looks like. Over here, all you need to do is click on order and you can see all the pending orders, the completed orders and the actual trades for the day. I don't have any today, but it'll show as a list right here. You can also click on a pending order to exit it in case you want to exit a stock right from here. If you're holding something, uh, you can actually see in the portfolio section your positions and your holdings. The difference between positions and holdings is very simple. Holdings are long-term investments. Those are your delivery trades that you've taken in your DMAT account. And positions may be your intraday positions you've taken for that day. Let me show you the cash section. Here you can see the free cash you have, the margin you use for today, and you can even select the pay in and pay out. 
Finally, we have alerts. Isn't it difficult to track a stock all the time? Well, SAS makes it a lot easier for you. What you can do is when you have a stock here, let's say Siemens, I can click on this alert and I can select when Siemens is greater than say, the current price is 1023. So I can make this 1024, then alert me. This alert is created. And whenever Siemens will go above 1024, I'll get an alert. As you can see, Siemens just hit 1024. That's my alert. I get a beautiful notification here. I can see that Siemens is greater than 1024. That was my alert. I can obviously take my decision whether to buy, sell or do whatever at this point. So that's it. SAS can make your trading on the go very simple. Now, wherever you are, just log into your browser and you'll be able to trade.